Hi, I'm Allie Dearman, and I'm back again this time to talk about what exactly is it that attracts you and your partner to each other? Is it that you both have common interests? No. How about you have opposite personality traits? He's very loud and outgoing, and you're shy, quiet. Mm, no, that's not it either. Maybe there's a sexual attraction. Mm, sex, love, they're two different things. One's physical, one's emotional. So then, mm, what could it be? Well, it's something that goes on out of your awareness. Did you ever notice a couple where there's a divorce and then one of them gets married and the new spouse might have a different face and a different name, but acts exactly like the first one did. And when that marriage doesn't work and that first spouse goes on and marries another person, different name, different face, same person though, same behaviors, same personality. You know what's going on? Did you ever hear the phrase, Men tend to marry their mothers, and daughters tend to marry their fathers. What's attracting you is something in the energy of the other person. Now you're putting out something in your own energy that's drawing that other person to you. And you are being drawn to something in his energy that lets you link together. Many people, without knowing it, are attracted to someone to recreate the relationship they had with their early caretakers, usually their parents, not always. So that if you as a child lived in an abusive home, you have that in your energy. And it's like wearing a neon sign that says, I'm looking for an abusive partner. I'm looking for an abusive partner. If that's you, come on in. So that's what's going on. Let me explain this another way. Oh, and the reason that's going on is because you're hoping on this level that you're going to be able to get it right this time. Get it right this time. That relationship, the interconnection, make it work. Heal it. it. Takes a different method. To heal that relationship, of course, it's possible to heal it. It's a lot less work than you think. I can show you how, but that's what's going on. Now, here's another way to look at it. Maybe it's a little easier to understand. You're at a party, and there's someone across the room. You don't know anything about that person. Don't know his name. Don't know what he does for a living. Don't know anything about his family. But you know you're going to make sure and make eye contact because you definitely want to meet that person. You want to know that person. You want to go out with that person. Now you're at the same party, and there's another person across the room, and you're being very careful to avoid contact and to move the other way should he come toward you. There's no way, no how, you want anything to do with that person, and again, you don't know the person's name, you don't know what he does for a living, his hobbies, his family life, nothing. So there's one person you're anxious to know. One person you're anxious to avoid. What's going on? Did you ever hear the expression good vibes, bad vibes? That's literally what's going on. When I spoke about a few moments ago, the vibration, the energy a person's putting out, if there's something good in it, it's a higher vibration. It feels good to others. If there's something bad in it, it's a lower vibration that frankly feels bad to others. So when you're attracting your partner, it isn't really about the appearance of having common interests, or the appearance of sexual attraction, or the appearance of opposite personalities. It's really your energy, what you put out, what you're drawing to you.